Hi Pisces, it's Jeffrey, it's Ramp Color, and this is your reading for November 27th through December 4th. Um, I, I don't want to forget the message, don't be shy. The little mini message is don't be shy, whatever that means. All right, um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also have uh, lovely things on my website, rightcolor.com. Please subscribe to my newsletter. I'm going to be offering specials um, toward, you know, soon. I don't know what they are, but. And um, membership is $2.99 a month. It lets you watch these videos commercial free. I'm going to be adding more to my, to that part of my channel. Membership. I don't know what that is either. It's, it's kind of like, um, uh, that, that's what the don't be shy is about. It's sort of like, it's kind of the energy that I just had for Scorpio, which is like, well, I don't know. I've never really done this before, but yeah, okay. I, I feel like that the energy is is coming to you too. There's a similarity. Sort of like, um, people say, oh, have you ever done this? And it's like, no. And they go, what you want to? And it's like, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> like be a little bit, um, try something new. Be a little adventurous, a little um, discover something, right? Discover something. Okay. I think after you're reading, I'm going to go eat a little brief. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll eat something new. I feel like you're going to have a memory or an understanding or a, you know what it feels like? It feels like there's an understanding of something in the past that helps you to see things in a new way, or there's a message there for you. Like maybe like looking at something from an angle from, you know, from far away. Sometimes you look at the same situation five years later, 10 years later. And it's like, oh, that's what we're on. That's that's what that was about. Or, but I think you're getting it really clear about it, and be able to drop it, be able to drop maybe the pain of it, or drop the. Um, I just feel like it's almost like you seeing the situation clearly. It's like you're going to be able to drop a burden of guilt or something or of remorse that you've been carrying. Get a whole thing now. Because um, you're seeing it from a different angle from far away. And, you know, I think it's been bothering you really for a long time. And, and now you want to change your thinking. And it's almost like there's a new... It's like, let's say you're working at a company. It's a weird example. But you're working at a company... And the one who's like in charge of the company is a crazy person and a tyrant and this and that. And it just makes everybody uncomfortable and everybody is under pressure and everybody feels like I'm going to lose my job or like that. And then all of a sudden they're gone and somebody new comes in and they're like really lovely and really kind and productive and chill. And it's like, oh, wow. That's what it feels like. It feels like there's a shift in but i think the shift is in inside you of almost like th this way that you've been saying oh well i shouldn't have done that i shouldn't have done that and for like years and it's sort of like you know what i did the best i could do at the moment and i did the right thing at the moment and i need to like let go of that burden of uh responsibility and that burden of uh guilt or remorse or uh grief that like I've been carrying this around and it's like it's not even mine not even mine yeah because I'm looking at it really squarely and really practically I'm looking at it really practically and I'm interested in healing and I'm interested in you know letting the intuition come through so that I can go after the things that I want to go after like my my own dreams it's almost like you were living somebody else's dream or something. Yeah, this the, the, the story is over. A new story is beginning. Really interesting. Wow. 
it's like it has to do with like a memory of the past or an understanding, like a relooking at something that's happened or had has has had happened. And it's like seeing it in new light. And you're gonna be able to cut out the old and cut out the beating yourself up over it and the the crying over spilled milk sort of thing. Dropping the burden because you know it's practical and you're interested in healing and going after your dreams and starting anew. And starting anew. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yeah, the man of action with the new plan. Uh, regarding a memory of the past, dropping the burden, getting a lot of messages, no longer uh, allowing the tyrant to control you because it's not practical. You're interested in healing and, and you know, capturing and going after the thing that you choose, that you choose that's toward your um, fulfillment. And a story has ended and new one's beginning. This probably has a, that was my thumb. This probably has a lot to do with um, the eclipse. It was like an energy of the eclipse that you're sort of like completely done with. And it's like, okay, I uh, I understand that on a different level. I've moved on and now I'm ready for a new story. Great. Blessings.